Assalamu alaikum Welcome viewers to video presentation <coughs> for pharmacy practice course PHP 602 This is Arishud Nin Ali Door number 155-0035 from group number 58 It is to be submitted to Mab Shahana So pulling away the ribs and finding out my topic for today which is antimicrobial cost of therapy it's taken from principle of infectious diseases a chapter from book applied therapeutics the clinical use of drugs ninth edition by Koda Kimball let us discover the effects of cost in antimicrobial therapy well actually the true cost of antimicrobial therapy is difficult to quantitate Usually the acquisition cost traditionally has been the primary factor in overall cost of therapy but the drug administration level cost such as nursing, pharmacies and the use of IV sets and infusion control devices etc must be included in the analysis. So what are these effects which we observe in antimicrobial therapy due to its cost? The first effect we see is the increased administration cost. A drug which has to be administered several times a day such as penicillin will incur an increased administration cost when compared with another one that requires once a day dosing. Vice versa if meropenin with or without ciprofloxacin had been selected for RG in this therapy we, w we can expect that it will cause relatively few laboratory costs so it will be more cost effective another effect will be increased laboratory costs uh, drugs like uh, aminoglycosides which are associated with higher laboratory costs such as in their cases aminoglycosides, serum concentrations serum creatinine, audiometry that are not required for other agents such as third generation cephalosporins and quinolones so obviously cephalosporins and quinolones are a better choice when we consider the expensive aminoglycoside therapy another effect we observe are the increased monitoring cost Drugs with a higher potential for misuse or toxicity can be associated with the increased cost because of monitoring like drug use evaluation, pharmacokinetic monitoring. The broad spectrum of activity and potential for misuse and development for res of resistance might however result in increased monitoring costs which will affect the overall cost to the society. Another major effect we can observe will be the prolonged hospitalization and expensive interventions. Like when the costs are, that are difficult to quantitate include that both of therapy failure, failure and antimicrobial toxicity. Infective or toxic therapy can prolong the hospitalization and cause the patient, patient to stay and spend more time in the hospital and obviously they will require more expensive intervention, interventions such as hemodialysis, mechanical ventilation and ICU admissions. The net effect of these latter costs can be significantly greater than the acquisition and administration cost of antimicrobial therapy. Let us consider a case study. A 29 year old man was admitted to the hospital because of fatigue, anorexia, malaise, occipital headache, fever and difficulty concentrating. On physical examination he appeared very tired and fairly thin. His temperature was recorded about 40 degrees Celsius. The liver edge was tender and palpitated 3 cm below the right costal margin with diffuse abdominal tenderness. 
An abdominal CT scan showed thickening of the terminal ileum wall and clumped and large mesenteric lymph nodes in the right lower quadrant. Several laboratory tests were performed which we will discuss. But the things which diagnosed his condition were the repeated blood cultures which were found to be negative but the microscopy of liver biopsy showed lobular aggregates of kuffer cells which are also known as the typhoid nodules means bacterial cultures of the liver's tissue and the roseola spots well there were uh, roseola spots or red spots spread throughout his body so the biopsy uh, of roseola spots were positive for salmonella typhi we have to determine a few things <coughs> for the above case number one empiric therapy for determine determination of cultural sensitivity second we have to determine the duration of therapy third if a patient if the above mentioned patient is sensitive to fluoroquinolones what should be used as an alternative first thing first the empiric therapy which should be determined after cultural sensitivity determination well the bacterial culture of the liver tissue showed that salmonella typhi positive that he was salmonella typhi positive laboratory tests were performed uh, results came back with the WC, uh, wbc count of 4600 per millimeter cube while aspartate amino transferase and lactate dehydrogenase was 790 and 1562 units per liter respectively body temperature was recorded as mentioned above 40 degrees celsius generally a physician's recommendation would be a uh, cefixime in the dose of 400 mg q12 hour and it cost around 400 pakistani rupees or even above while another recommendation which we can observe in our hospitals are ceftriaxone 1 gram q12 hour dose cost around 210 rupees pakistani or above as a pharmacist the cost effective suggestion or replacement for the above mentioned therapy should be gatifloxacin which is a fluoroquinolone with a dose of 200 mg once daily it cost around 110 rupees pakistani or even less so we can see that uh, general recommendations are pretty expensive and they could cause a patient or his family to consider other means of therapy to reduce The next thing duration of therapy well it will be 10 to 14 days for all of the above three drugs mentioned and finally if the patient is sensitive to fluoroquinolones what should be used as an alternative since gatifloxacin is a fluoroquinolone so we have to determine the next best choice in this case cefixime would be generally preferred but since it's very expensive actually twice expensive than ceftriaxone so the latter would be a cost effective choice in this case 
pushing through the conclusion determining the true cause of antimicrobial therapy is a very complex task acquisition cost iv bags infusion controllers labor cost must be incorporated into the analysis Although they are difficult to estimate, other costs include antibiotic toxicity and failure of therapy. These are also to be included in determining the true cost of antimicrobial therapy. Well, thank you very much for watching till the end. This would be all from my today's presentation.